Resident Evil is nearly 30 years old and the franchise has not slowed down when it comes to releasing new mainline games, remakes, and even movies. It's safe to say that this series is Capcom's bread and butter, their golden goose, in other words. Resident Evil 9 is set to be the next most ambitious game in the series and I think a big reason to why I think they have taken this long with development is most likely due to the success of Resident Evil 4 Remake. The Resident Evil 4 Remake, as of making this video, has sold 8 million copies and is one of the most critically praised games in Capcom's library. And that's mostly due to the fact that they crafted and developed a beautiful remake as one of the most critically loved games ever made. Resident Evil 8, the game previously released, is not a bad game by no means. I just don't think it connected with a lot of people and myself included. And that's mostly due to the fact that the game is more action survival instead of horror survival, which was what Resident Evil 7 was like. And by no means is this a comparison, but when we look at both games, they're night and day differences. To the story, to the gameplay changes, yes, they share same gameplay perspectives and gameplay, but I think it's the tone of each game's that differs and this is where I think Resident Evil 8 mostly fails. I think Resident Evil 8 should have followed suit in the same way Resident Evil 7 did but obviously Capcom didn't want to take the game in this direction and that says a lot. One of the biggest reasons I think they went and toned down the horror in Resident Evil 8 was because the game was too scary for general audiences which makes me confused because isn't this the same reason the game succeeded? Fans were tired of the action in these games and were missing what made Resident Evil popular in the first place. Horror. The first Resident Evil was said to be the father of survival horror and it's said to have spawned the survival horror genre. Moving back to Resident Evil 9, I think this is a game that needs to have more action and horror but more horror elements focused on. I think the remakes are carrying more of the action elements that fans want with Resident Evil. I hope Capcom has learned from their mistakes and I have high hopes for the next Resident Evil entry largely due to the fact them bringing the director of Resident Evil 7 arguably the person who led the project in the right direction so i think fans are in good hands with the next mainline game that's going to have to wrap up everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please consider leaving a like and subscribe so you don't miss another video like this with all that being said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you guys in the next video